All right. Okay, we got 10 minutes. You guys ready? Sunburns. Okay, so I was on the ski hill last weekend and I burned my face. And then Monday, I got more burns. And then that same day, Monday, I ended up getting more burns as well as some dry chapped lips from being outside more. It's feeling like spring. I know some of you would laugh at me because I'm like, it's 32 degrees outside. It feels like spring. And people are like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> but this is spring in the mountains for us is it snows and it gets warm and muddy and gross and it snows again and it gets warm and muddy and gross. Uh, but we love it and it gets us super excited for plant for our planting season. So back to the topic at hand. So I burned my face. Okay. And I have a tendency to do that this time of year because it's, it's, hard to remember that, oh, I should put sunscreen on because you're thinking it's so cold outside. I don't need sunscreen until you're out there and you can tell like, oh, my, the wind and the sun are totally beating on my face. So when I <clears throat> do this to myself, one of the things I immediately do when I come home, <clears throat> or at least that evening is I will wash my face like I normally do. I like to use the Young Living Charcoal Bar Soap. Um, it cleanses really well. It's very mild for the skin and that's why I love it. Um, and then I'll take my CBD Beauty Boost and I used three to four drops of this. Okay, now this lasts a really long time. So some people get sticker shock from it, but this is what you gotta keep in mind. You're not using very much of this, okay? So three to four drops of this, one drop, of the lavender essential oil. And then I throw in just a teensy like pea sized drop of this Ringinolum cream. And it feels amazing. It actually has a cooling effect and it makes it just feel like I can tell it's like regenerating my skin and helping to heal the damage that I've caused to it. I'm sorry, skin. <laughs> so I've, I've damaged my skin really bad over the years because when I was working at Camp Red Cloud as an equestrian teacher, I just did not care about my skin when I should have cared about my skin more. So here's my advice to you young folks out there that are like, whatever, I'll just let my skin burn. Don't let it burn. Okay. Take care of it now. So you can have healthy skin later on because yes, skin cancer is a real thing. I have not experienced it but it does run in my family. And I know the treatment is super painful. So when you are not trying to remedy your sunburn, you can also grab and try Young Living's Mineral Sunscreen. Um, it is wonderful. Okay. So you don't have to worry about any toxins or anything that are in it. And this is what I really should have used this last weekend. So those are my tips um, for you for today is um, get yourself some CBD beauty boost, your lavender, and then Ringinolone cream, which also dual purpose. Okay. I actually use this on my scar tissue after my C-section too. Okay. So you can use these for multiple things like the lavender you can use for sleep. Um, like I said, the CBD beauty boost is just amazing on your skin, on your face, of course, but it can also help with other in other areas as well. So those are the three I use after I burn my face and oh, I'm real staticky. I think my earbuds are going out and the microphone on my phone is horrific too. I am so sorry. Thanks for telling me. I really appreciate it. That tells me this is, this is dying. Okay. So the last thing, don't forget, grab yourself some of this mineral sunscreen and um, hopefully the volume is better on my zoom recording and I'll just repost that and you guys can rewatch that later. I'm so sorry. So that is it for my tips, tricks, and tools. I have to get Petrina to basketball. So we will talk to you guys later. Okay. Yeah. Shauna, uh, you said, yes, I'm trying to listen. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll repost this, um, this evening onto my wall so that you guys can rewatch it. I'm so sorry. Um, hopefully we'll get this figured out. All right. We'll talk to you guys later.